Hey creators, welcome to Top Trending and Open Source GitHub Projects this week. Part 1, where you'll discover powerful new tools on GitHub that can instantly level up your workflow. Today we explore tools like Fara 7 b an AI that automates real computer tasks, and RevoGrid, a lightning-fast data grid for web apps. Let's dive in and see what you can build with these gems. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, Fara 7B, on-device AI that uses your computer like a human. Imagine having an assistant that doesn't just answer questions, it actually uses your computer, clicking, typing, and navigating just like you would to get things done. That's what Fara 7B delivers. It's the first agentic small language model SLM from Microsoft built specifically for computer use. With only about 7 billion parameters, Fara 7B is compact enough to run on local devices, giving you speed, privacy, and direct control. Instead of generating just text, Fara 7B operates via pixel in, action out. It sees screenshots of a web page or UI, reasons about what to do, then outputs exact coordinates for clicks, scrolls, or keystrokes, no need for accessibility trees or separate parsers. Behind the scenes, it's built on a base multimodal model and trained using a synthetic data pipeline called FaraGen that generated over 145,000 verified trajectories across tens of thousands of real websites. On benchmarks, Fara 7B achieves strong performance, even beating some larger agentic models on live web interaction tasks. This model is aimed at developers, power users, and teams who want to automate web-based tasks, booking tickets, filling forms, comparing prices, summarizing info, while keeping data local and preserving privacy. It runs on device or via self-hosted infrastructure, with much lower latency and cost compared to cloud-based agents. Give it a try and see how your browser-based workflows transform into hands-free, automated actions. Project number two, Aura Browser clean, native macOS browser with minimalist design. Here's something that feels like the future. Imagine a web browser that's light, fast, and feels truly native on macOS, with smooth tab management and a design focused on reducing noise. That's what Aura Browser brings. It's an open-source browser built with Swift and WebKit, designed to deliver a clean, secure, and beautiful browsing experience specifically for macOS. Aura offers native feeling performance, a vertical sidebar for tab slash spaces rather than cluttered horizontal tab bars, an interface design inspired by modern minimalist browsers. It signs and verifies its app updates using ED25519 cryptographic keys, a detail that underscores its emphasis on security and user trust. This browser is ideal for users who value privacy, simplicity, and speed over feature bloat. If you prefer a distraction-free browsing session on macOS, Aura gives you a sharp, native-looking alternative to mainstream browsers. Give it a try and see how smooth and clean your browsing feels. Project number three, Claude Code Open Router. Route Claude Code to any LLM via Open Router. Imagine you're using Claude Code, the terminal-based AI coding assistant, but instead of being locked to a single provider, you can call almost any large language model by name, just by writing its name in your prompt. That's what Claude Code Open Router does. It adapts Claude Code to route requests through Open Router, giving you access to a wide variety of models like Grok, Gemini, GLM 4.6, GPT-5, and more via a unified interface. The project is MIT licensed and lightweight. You grab your Open Router API key, drop it into a .envin, then Claude Code plus this agent will intercept prompts like use Grok to summarize this file or ask Gemini to rewrite this function forward them to open router and save output into a local file under llm output slash fear. This matters now because it breaks you free from model lock, giving developers, hobbyists, and AI tool builders flexibility to pick a model by need. Low-cost models for quick tasks, heavier models for complex work while staying inside the same workflow. It bridges Claude Code's convenience with Open Router's model agnostic reach. Give it a try and see how your coding and prompt experiments multiply across model choices. Project number four, Foliox, AI-powered GitHub portfolio generator. Imagine you drop your GitHub username into a tool and instantly get a polished professional portfolio website without writing a single HTML line yourself. That's exactly what Foliox does. It's an open source GPL 3.0 web app built with TypeScript slash Next.js that fetches your GitHub data via the GraphQL API, 
runs AI to generate summary texts, highlights and descriptions, and then renders a full responsive portfolio site. Foliox uses a backend with Postgrex Prisma for data storage, and caches GitHub metadata to reduce rate limits and speed up generation. It also optionally integrates LinkedIn data, and can fetch live project screenshots for rich visuals. As soon as you supply a username, and optionally a GitHub token to include private repos, Foliox builds your profile, project list, languages slash contributions graph, etc. The result? A ready-to-share, clean portfolio site. Ideal for developers, freelancers, and creators who want to show off their code in projects quickly and elegantly. If you want to save time and get a professional web presence from existing GitHub work, Foliox is worth trying. See how fast your portfolio goes live. Project number five, Retet.js, Visual Programming Engine and Node Editor Toolkit. And imagine dragging boxes and wires in a browser, and those boxes actually do work. That's what Retet.js brings to life. It's an open source, TypeScript-first framework that helps developers build visual, node-based editors and workflows directly in the browser. With Retet.js brings to life, JS, you define nodes with inputs, outputs, or controls. Connect them visually, like wiring, and run them through either a data flow engine or a control flow engine to execute logic or process data. The framework supports major UI stacks, React, Vue, Angular, Svelte, even Lit, so you can integrate a node editor into your web app without reinventing the wheel. Because it separates visualization from logic, Retet.js JS gives creators flexibility. You pick exactly which plugins and UI frameworks you need. No unnecessary bloat. This makes it ideal for building things like visual data pipelines, drag and drop automation tools, education apps, game logic editors, or custom workflow designers. If you want a powerful way to turn code-heavy logic into an accessible graphical interface and give users a way to build, connect, and run workflows by drag and drop, give Retet.js Carl one ek JS a try, and see how your next project becomes visual and interactive. Project number six, Aloha Mini. Budget-friendly dual-arm robot you can build at home. Imagine opening a box in your room and assembling a fully functional two-armed robot, no factory needed, that can reach from the floor up to table height, perceive with multiple cameras, and run real-world tasks. That's exactly what Aloha Mini delivers. An open-source, 3D-printable, dual-arm mobile robot with a motorized vertical lift. Aloha Mini gives you a robot platform that's affordable, US $600 if you self-print and assemble, yet surprisingly capable. It includes a 0.60cm vertical lift for floor-to-table reach, a 5-camera perception system, top, front, back, and dual-arm cameras, and full hardware plus software, open source under Apache 2.0, making it ideal for robotics lovers, educators, researchers, or hobbyists wanting hands-on experience. The repository provides 3D printable STL files, a bill of materials, and instructions for assembly and software setup. You can swap the onboard compute, e.g. a Raspberry Pi, according to your needs, and the design is modular enough for custom upgrades. It matters now because robotics is often expensive and closed source. Aloha Mini lowers the bar, giving anyone access to a capable mobile manipulation platform for experimentation and learning. Try building it and see how easily a homegrown robot turns into a sandbox for embodied AI, automation, or creative robotics projects. Project number seven, Splinter Memory Efficient Tokenizer for LLMs. Imagine a tokenizer for large language models that is fast, memory efficient, and works in plain Python. That's what Splinter gives you. Splinter is an open source Python package on GitHub under splinter-ml slash splinter designed to make tokenization and token handling easier for ML workflows built with PyTorch. Splinter handles text tokenization under the hood, but in a way that focuses on efficiency, ideal when you build or train LLMs or other NLP models, and want a lightweight tokenizer that doesn't hold up your pipeline. Because it's a Python library, it can be dropped into existing projects with minimal friction, the simplicity and light footprint make it useful for researchers, developers, and engineers working with custom models or datasets. It helps especially when you care about resource usage, speed, and clean integration into Python-based ML stacks. Give it a try and see how smoothly your token preprocessing becomes part of your ML workflow. Project number 8. Flux.2. Next-gen open image gen and editing AI. Imagine describing a scene in words, or providing a few reference pictures, and getting back a high-quality photorealistic image, or a refined edit, that respects lighting, style, composition, text, and even consistent characters or products. That's exactly what Flux.2 delivers. 
It's an open-weight image generation and editing model from Black Forest Labs, released under Apache 2.0 or a non-commercial license for some variants. Flux.2 is a 32 billion parameter rectified flow transformer that works both for text-to-image generation and image-to-image -image editing. It can accept up to 10 reference images to maintain style, character, or object consistency, so you can generate coherent multi-scene art, product mock-ups, or redesigns all in one go. What makes it matter now is its leap in realism and utility. Flux.2 produces outputs with 4 megapixel resolution, handles complex typography and layouts, and understands structured prompts, making it suitable for marketing visuals, UI mockups, concept art, or professional grade image work. This tool targets digital artists, creators, designers, marketers, anyone needing high quality visuals with full creative control without needing to craft every pixel by hand. Try it now and see how smoothly your concept to image workflow transforms. Project number 9. Revo Grid, Excel-style high-performance data grid for web apps. And imagine embedding an Excel-like spreadsheet inside your web app that can display millions of cells, scroll smoothly, let users edit, filter, sort, copy-paste, yet remain fast, responsive, and lightweight. That's what RevoGrid delivers. It's an open-source, MIT-licensed data grid component built with Stencil.js, compatible with major JS frameworks, React, Vue, Angular, Svelte, Plain.js. At its core, RevoGrid uses a virtual DOM plus smart row slash column virtualization, so only visible data is rendered, meaning even huge datasets are handled with minimal performance hit. You define columns and data source, e.g. array of objects, and RevoGrid handles rendering, editing, resizing, custom cell templates as editors, pinned frozen rows or columns, grouping, filtering, sorting, exporting data, CSV Excel, copy-paste, much like a spreadsheet. Developers building dashboards, analytics tools, inventory or finance web apps, data-heavy admin panels, anyone needing large-scale tabular data with interactive editing, benefit from RevoGrid. It gives them spreadsheet class features without external dependencies or server-side rendering, and works across frameworks with the same API. If you handle large data in a web interface, try RevoGrid. It might turn your data grid pane into smooth, spreadsheet-like interactivity instantly. Project number 10. Infidex high-performance .NET search engine with fuzzy matching. Imagine building an app and being able to embed a search engine so fast and smart that it finds what you want, even if your users type wrong. That's what Infidex brings to your .NET projects. This open-source, MIT-licensed search engine indexes documents in thousands per second and returns search results in mere milliseconds. Infidex uses a unique pattern recognition approach. It extracts features like term frequency and rarity from your data, embeds them into a multi-dimensional hypersphere, and uses that for fuzzy matching, enabling typo-tolerant intelligent search without manual tuning or linguistic rules. It supports advanced features like multi-field search, with configurable weights, faceted search, and a SQL-like query language called InfoScript for complex filtering and boosting. Integration is simple. Install via NuGet, create an engine instance, index your documents, and immediately start searching. Infidex is fully thread-safe, supports incremental indexing, add or update docs without re-indexing everything, and exposes a clean API, ideal for developers building content management systems, e-commerce sites, knowledge bases, or any app needing fast, robust search without heavy dependencies. Give it a try, and watch how quickly your application search functionality becomes smarter and more user-friendly. Thanks for watching. If you like this roundup, please hit like, subscribe to the channel, comment which repo you loved most, and enable notifications so you don't miss part 2. Don't forget to star the repos and try out the demos linked in the description. And if you know more cool projects I should cover next time, drop them in the comments below.